The grand reception and appreciation of Senator Lady Uche Ekwinife, which attracted a very rich retinue of indigents of Inri Town in the Anaocha local government of Anamra State, from all parts of the country and beyond, also registered a very robust attendance of very important dignitaries for most spheres of life, public, private, corporate, business, traditional, religious, and indeed the political spheres of our land, where the celebrant Senator Lady Uche Kunife stands out distinctly as first among equals when we talk about politicians who have been tested and trusted over the decades. In attendance at the event which was organized by Nri Progress Union, MPU Worldwide, included former Vice President Dr. Alex Ekweme, Enugu State Governor Right Honorable Ifai Uguayi, the former Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Senator Ayim Pius Ayim, former Chief of Staff of the Nigerian Army, Lieutenant General Kenneth Minima retired. The President of the Senate, Dr. Bukola Saraki, was represented by Senate Minority Leader and former Governor of Akwaibom State, Senator Gertwil Akwaibio, CON. There were Senators from other states like Eboin, Senator Obin Naogba, Cross River State, Senator Gensho Henshaw. The Deputy Governors of Anambara, Dr. Nkem Okeke and Eboin State, Dr. Kelechi Igwe, were joined by Senators Ben Obi and Joy Modi. Also in attendance were former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Emeka Ihedioha, CON. Also there to honor Senator Uche Kunife were Senator Anio Konkwa, Honorable Emeka Duru and Barrister Emeka Okafo. The traditional institution of an Amro state was led by the monarch of Nri Town, who was the royal father of the day, His Majesty Eze Obidiegu Onyeso MFRJP, who stood side by side with their worthy and illustrious daughter, who through the works of her hand and wide connections at the places that matter has brought a lot of respectability to Inri land. The event, which was in three parts, the chieftain's conferment ceremony, the stands given service and reception, began with the conferment of the prestigious traditional chieftain's title of Anya Unri on Senator Lady Uche Kunife. The ceremony took place at the palace of Nzenri. She was accompanied by her husband, Chiblari Ekwinife, friends and well-wishers. His Majesty, the Monarch of Nri Town, Eze Obidiegu Onyesa, MFR, JP, was hugely supported by members of the Nri Traditional Council. Other titled chiefs and prominent figures from Nri Town also witnessed the impressive ceremony. The chieftains confirming rites were performed by Eze Nri, His Majesty, Eze Obidiegu Onyesa, MFR, who communicated mostly in the Igbo language. He praised the giant strides of Senator Uche Kunife which he said has eminently qualified her for the great honor. He advised her to continue to make the people of Nri proud with her sterling performance. The royal father stated that the Nri people are solidly behind Senator Uche Kunife. <laughs> Only Jim McCowan or Lamba, our own senator, our own daughter, our own everything the good. Believe it. Oh, my guy, oh, my guy, the best we ever had. I say, no, no, no. Do you know, Diana? Do you go there, but it's majesty. Senator Uche Ekunife was then decorated with the paraphernalia of the very revered traditional chieftaincy title of Anya Wunri, the sun that shines on Unri land. After her initiation, the newly installed chief, accompanied by her husband, went round to greet fellow chiefs who received her warmly. Okay. 
que eu tenho esse bom ar. The next point was St. Mary's Catholic Church Nri, in the Anaucha local government of Anambra State, where special Thanksgiving service was held to thank God for the life of Senator Lady Uche Ekunife and her family. The church service, which was well attended by friends, family members, and well wishers of Senator Uche Ekunife, began with a procession of formalities. There was a rendition of soul lifting songs by the choir of St. Mary's Catholic Church to set the tone for the service. Service also featured Holy Communion and special prayers for Senator Uche Kunife, her husband and entire family. In the sermon preached, the officiating minister congratulated Senator Uche Kunife for all her efforts to give succor to the less privileged through her influence and extensive connections in places that matter in the land. He urged her not to relent in her efforts and wished her well in her future endeavors and ambition. Goodwill messages were given in honor and appreciation of the worthy efforts of Senator Uche Kunife with a call on her to continue to show to the world that when it comes to leadership, Nigerian women can stand shoulder to shoulder with their main colleagues in all spheres. In her remarks, Senator Uche Kunife, who thanked everyone who took the trouble to travel down to Inri Town from different parts of the country to celebrate her, thanked her husband for his great support over the years. She thanked Nri community for deeming her fate for the honor being bestowed on her, pledging to continue to serve the people in whatever capacity they so desire. The church service ended with special Thanksgiving session with hearty singing and dancing.
the grand reception for Senator Lady Uche Kunife, which had more dignitaries in attendance, with His Royal Majesty as Obidia Gonyesa MFR JP as the Royal Father of the Day, supported by chiefs and other prominent figures of the land. In fact, the entire atmosphere was very beautiful and colorful, with friends of Senator Uche Kunife looking really radiant and gorgeous in the red color with a dash of white attire they all adorned. After the opening prayer, the breaking of the colonel followed to formally bring the occasion to life. In the opening remarks of the chairman of the occasion, Chief Martin C. Onora, Idenri, a worthy son of the soil, he welcomed all and sundry and congratulated the honoree for her worthy accomplishments. The President General of Nri Progress Union, MPU Worldwide, Chief Frank Obiekwe Oreiki, Ugonabo, saluted Senator Uche Kunife for her great role in the development of her constituency, both as a member of the House of Representatives and the Senate. Chief Frank Obiekwe Raiki Ugonabo asked Senator Uche Kunife to charge and forge on and that the people of Unri Town, both at home and abroad, are solidly behind him. According to late Margaret Thatcher, but, I don't know, a one-time British Prime Minister, she said, if you want something said, ask a man. If you want something done, ask a woman. So it is with our dear wife, the simple Senator Lady Eyon Uche Kunife. She has exhibited good governance, effective and quality representation, always stri striving to keep things moving in the right direction, giving more people the opportunity to live their dreams, giving them hope, soccer and bringing them together while developing their environments through her astonishing political career notwithstanding being a woman operating in a political environment effectively dominated by men thereafter there was a grand procession by different groups of the community with traditional music in the background. In the royal address of the monarch of Nri town his majesty as Obidiego Onyes MFR JP he also echoed most of the glowing remarks of the previous speakers, endorsing the tremendous support Senator Uche Kunife has given to the people of Nri community, Anambra State, and Nigeria in general. As Henry again said, Nri people are very proud of their worthy daughter, Senator Uche Kunife. There were goodwill messages from the Senate President, represented by Senator Gertrude Akpabio. In the remarks, support was given to Senator Uche Kunife she should be willing to contest for the governorship of Anambra State or the presidents of the country, because according to them, she has, through her performance, fulfilled all righteousness. A lady of uh, great repute, a lady of integrity, a lady of great achievement, a lady among ladies. A trailblazer and a woman bulldozer and a political colossus among the of Nigeria. Our lady, I stand with my dear colleagues to represent the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, who is unavoidably absent due to another engagement outside Nigeria. Otherwise, he would have been here. To say that we are very proud of you and to say, in her response, Senator Uche Kunife again thanked everyone for honoring her, especially the monarch of Munri Town and all the people of the community. She again pledged to continue to do all in her power and capacity to move Munri Town and Ambra State and Nigeria forward, God helping her. I want to thank everybody. I don't know where to start. The protocol is too much. I stand on all other protocols in thanking everybody. I am very grateful for this community, but most importantly, let me thank my dear husband. Without him, it would not have been possible. That is why when a woman is praying for God to bless her with marriage, let God give you your partner. A partner that will understand you. A partner that will love you. A partner that will take you for what you are. My husband, when I married him, the day he got a job for me, he came back from work and told me, go and switch on the farm. When I went to switch on the fan, something came up, I ran away. He helped me and brought the envelope. It was my appointment letter in the bank. That's where we started and that's where we are today. So that thing for me, he gave me everything when I started and it's everything to me. I thank my children, I thank this community for everything. Even I don't have to say, no, no, no. 
The grand reception ended with entertainment, which took place at the home of Senator Uche Kunife, where more dignitaries showed up to rejoice with her. The friends of Senator Uche Kwenife who had done the eye-catching red color attire with a dash of white were silencer of all eyes as they rallied round their good friend, Senator Uche Kwenife. They exuded joy, happiness, and they got down to music as dished out by the DJ. <laughs> Senator Uche Kwenife, the Adaugo of Ndibo and Anya Wovenri, among other traditional chieftaincy titles, was also honored by many universities, locally and internationally, with honorary doctorate degrees for her good deeds and philanthropy in the society. From Biscon Communications, his worthy chairs, the Senator Lady Uche Kwenife, on the great recognition that came her way from her people in Nri, in their natural local government of Anambra State of Nigeria. <laughs> 